obviously we cannot stop ourselves from getting angry but the way we express our anger can go a long way in affecting the quality of our lives and that of the people around us hi beautiful people this is yanoki and it's so good to have you here let's get talking have you ever spoken to someone in a way that you wished you hadn't out of anger some people are in jail because of anger relationships have been destroyed families broken and jobs have been lost all out of anger most importantly some people have lost their lives as a result of uncontrolled anger anger in itself is not a bad thing it is only a natural response to threatening situations as a matter of fact everyone needs an amount of anger in them to survive the problem though is excessive anger and how we express it we tend to express anger differently depending on the situation we find ourselves sometimes we express anger aggressively by the use of abusive words or acting violently towards another person in my clinical practice i've come across victims of acid attacks boyfriend pouring acid on girlfriend tenants pouring acid on landlord or sometimes on ward runs you see someone being hospitalized as a result of being attacked by another or being stabbed by another either they are arrested and in prison or they are on the run how long can you run the quality of your life has been affected and you can't move freely the people around you will also worry knowing that someone who is closely related to them is in trouble now the victim may spend painful weeks and months in and out of the hospital trying to get better these people have relations they may be a breadwinner a mother a father and the lives of all those people are going to be affected the extent of some of the attack may leave them with deformities and in some cases they may not even survive the attack so this is not a nice way of expressing our anger people also tend to express their anger passively by suppressing their feelings they will not yell or threatening or act violently suppressing your feeling is like keeping a fermented drink in a plastic bottle as time goes by it swells and once you open it poof it's all over the place and it's a total mess have you ever found yourself in that situation where someone is not speaking to you you don't know what you've done and the person is not talking to you they may be angry at you you should approach them and find out if you have offended them in any way else someday this suppressed feelings when they explode may not end up well or perhaps you are the one not talking to someone because they have offended you in any way people also tend to express anger assertively they will not act violently towards you or hit you or use abusive words they will also not suppress their feelings they would rather talk about it and express their dissatisfaction to whatever made them angry and this is a healthy way of expressing our anger and it's usually very effective day in day out we will be provoked and we will get angry but how do we control our anger how do we express our anger how do we deal with our anger one way we can deal with our anger is by not acting immediately when we are angry when we are angry our heart beats fast our blood pressure goes up and certain hormones activate and in that state we are we are not thinking rationally and we may say and do things that we would regret later and remember that those hateful words that you may say out of your anger you may apologize but then the person may never forget those words that you spewed out in your anger in that state you may also hit another person which may also end up badly so there is a need for us to calm down and express our anger for all you know it may have been just a miscommunication or a misunderstanding and talking through things would have cleared the air another way we can deal with our anger is by finding solutions to whatever makes us angry so for instance let's say you have an appointment to be at a particular place within a specific time and you bought a trotro and they tend to keep long at every stop because they are not getting passengers in fact they would wait for someone who is five minutes away to walk majestically to come and join the bus imagine the person comes to sit by you you know you tend to vent your anger on the driver the mate or anyone around you because there's some 
something at stake because you are late you get it so knowing this and how it angers you you try to be 30 minutes early or an hour early to avoid being upset by the situation as i stated earlier when we are angry our heart beats fast so you can count up to 10 and take in deep breath and um, you breathe in or you inhale through your nose keep the air in and exhale out of your mouth slowly okay so inhale through your nose keep the air and exhale out of your mouth slowly can we try that again inhale through your nose keep the air in and exhale out of your mouth slowly feels good doesn't it i'll definitely take us through some relaxation techniques as time goes by but the point is your heart rate slows down and your anger is likely to subside you can also listen to music take a walk or exercise there's so much you can talk about anger but i wouldn't want this video to be long so i'll end here however if you find yourself in arguments with people at home, at your, at your workplace, at social gatherings, and you find yourself acting violently towards them, or you are usually in trouble with the law as a result of your uncontrolled anger, then you should please seek help. It's okay to recognize your flaws and work on them. Else someday, this thing will push you or anger will push you to do something that you may be surprised at yourself and ask yourself, did I really do this? By then, it may be just too late. So please seek help. Let us learn to control our anger before it takes control over our lives. And if you think this information was helpful, do share with friends and family. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I am so happy to have you here. And if you haven't, I so much love to have you on board as we journey on to become better versions of ourselves. Thank you so much for watching. And until I see you again, stay safe, stay blessed.